from Washington, D.C. to Silicon Valley to your own neighborhood, we've all been hearing about problems and challenges of inequality as related to women and women issues. Even in the field of plastic and reconstructive surgery, we are certainly no stranger to this. As editor-in-chief of our journal, we are very proud to announce that we actually are launching a specific series of articles that's going to help us explore, expand, and address women's issues in our field of plastic and reconstructive surgery. We begin with a framework from upcoming months-long series with a look at the history of the male-dominated profession and then talk about specific issues facing female plastic surgeons today. We will also take a closer look at the leadership gap in plastic surgery and how we can melt the so-called plastic ceiling and break down some of the inequalities in this area. The authors propose several strategies like public relations campaigns, mentorship opportunities, and even criteria for equal pay and institutional family support and education on unconscious biases. So join us at prsjournal.com as we explore work-life balance, pregnancy, parenting, and sexual harassment, and so much more. Open discussions on this topic are integral to breaking down gender inequalities, not only in plastic surgery, but throughout the world. And only when you realize there's a problem can you actually delineate how to fix it or how to make it better. And that's what the journal is doing. We're bringing this out in the open, we're having a dialogue, and we're moving forward in a positive manner. And we wanna make our specialty in medicine better.